Hello guys. Welcome to Himscope KE. I'm King Omulo. So today, today I was browsing on YouTube and I came across this video by Tony Mpikuzi. And by the way, if uh, you want to get up to date with the, the latest gossips for one one, subscribe to Tony Mpikuzi's channel. Anyway. Anyway, here is the let's go through this video and see and see what is going on. See there's this part. Usein sasa kuna issue moja inaendelea pale mtaani. Uh, story na politics, story na BBI. Utuambie unajua BBI kwanza ni nini? Hebu meaning ya BBI ni nini kwanza in full? To be honest, you know, I don't follow much, you know, about uh, politics, but in terms of BBI, you know, I can't say anything uh, on that issue because uh, as 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 a, you know, youths, as a majority as Kenyans, you know, we don't have any advantage in terms of politics. So what comes across, you know, we just, you know, deal with it, you know, past. And, uh, and there's this part also. What's up, what's up, Nini? I love to hear Pili say in the lea, Kitu currently say in the lea is politics. Story na BBI. BBI kwanza Nini? Oh my God, I don't know how to talk about that thing. Because yet, I have not, I uh, I don't know what to say about it. Because as for me, I don't see it as a good thing. Because first of all, we all, some people don't understand what BBI is. We have to be explained very well what it is and, uh, and the advantages and disadvantages of it. Not everyone is understanding what that thing is. Especially it's see youths had to go too much into it. You see? Alafu kitu ya pili na trend saizi. Ata siku trend kitu nendelea saizi currently mtani ni story na BBI. Meaning ya BBI ni nini? BBI in full ni nini? Uh, mimi hata mambo na BBI kusema kweli hata sijui. Uji meaning initials, BBI ni initials. In full sasa inamaanisha nini? Ah uh, mimi si mtu wa siasa kusema kweli. <laughs> mimi sije fatida siasa kweli kabisa. Hapo <laughs> sawa, hapo sawa. So hakuna anything unajua kuhusu BBI. Hakuna anything. Unaiona tu kwa TV na nini na nini? Ah uh, mimi anga tu BBI lakini mimi kusema kweli mambo na siasa hata sijui kitu issue bado ndio iko saa hizi. Hebu tuambie maana full. BBI ni initials. Maana full ya BBI ni nini? A BBI ajo ilikuwa hii imetokana ni kama ni tuseme ni mtoto wa rais na huyo kinara aliyekuwa kinara upinzani Raila Amolo Odinga. Na saa ya kusema tu kweli ilikuwa vile imeanza imeanza hiyo si story imeanza juzi ni kitu imeanza 2017 20, 2018 actually. Ikikumbuka 2018 hapo hivyo but you want me to listen? Chini ndelea story na BBA. Butu ambie kwanza mana ya BBA. BBA ni initial. BBA in full ina manisha nini? Mi story ya BBA. Sujia maneza wangelea jumia ta mwenye. Mambo ya BBA. Siasa zi yaani. Misi fuatili yo. Yo si nini yangu. So hapo. Meza liwe ngine. So hatu uji BBA ina manisha nini? Hey, BBI, I am to BBI, like in this BBI. What is BBI? It's Jewy. The story na politics, story na BBI. BBI kwanza in full in any. BBI in full. Initials ni BBI. In full na manisha nini? Hey, Aki, you see Jewy. Nasi na ubae. Ujima na BBI. Guy, shiko ma na BBI ni nini? Then I started to think to myself, do people really don't know what BBI is? But turns out, it's a lot of people, especially here in Qatar. There are guys admitting outrightly that uh, they are apolitical, so they don't follow out, they don't follow up uh, much about it. But let, let me let you in on a secret. Getting to know your constitution isn't being political. It's like getting to know your rights. Not knowing, not knowing this is like saying you don't know your area MP, your governor, or your MCA. 
but I guess the problem could be because it is a 200 page document that scares guys not to read about it. But they are highlighted pointers that you could get to read and understand. And they address our current situations. Situations like ethnic antagonism. And this deals with the tribalism issues. And uh, this is one of the major issues that should be hand handled. There's devolution. There's uh, safety and security. And this mainly deals with the natural and man-made disasters, such as floods, especially people living in areas like Transnzoia, where the riverbanks have burst twice in two consecutive seasons. Or the most recent one, a few weeks ago, in Kakamega, Turkana, Homa Bay counties. Some of you guys come from these places and you know the kind of stress your families are going through and you wish the government could do something about it. Look at the COVID situation as well. Security disasters like uh, what happened at Westgate and the Garissa University some years back. These are the kind of issues that they will tackle. The issues like corruption, which, which has been and is still a thorn that has to be dealt with. We have experienced at least three times of our life lifetimes up to when you're watching this video we all know kenya is ranked at top three most corrupt countries in africa and we're even being name dropped in movies the issues like uh, shared prosperity this deals with the lack of decent income poor investments and unemployment and this affects us directly Hence why we are here in the Middle East working minimum wage jobs. Getting to know all these things doesn't make you political. It makes you a concerned citizen who is aware of the current affairs in your country. And uh, from this point of view, then you can argue whether you'd like to support BBI or not support it at all. You can base your arguments on such, such things as uh, high taxes due to the bloated cabinets. You can say there is collapse of the SMEs due to the advanced impact of the corona pandemic and the BBI will further burden the economy. You can say the timing of the BBI during this pandemic might economically impact the country negatively, making it difficult to create available economy to balance off all the reforms. Funding the BBI will be extremely expensive. The national debt has uh, largely been depleted by the economy and renders unviable. And see, such things are uh, some points which you can argue when you've read the BBI and you are aware of the current situations. Things like the economic situation of Kenya is fragile and the tax burden is huge due to uh, and it is high due to the representation of the parliament and the creation of uh, additional independent offices like the prime minister, the deputies, the ombudsman offices, extra leadership positions. And these guys have to be paid a full salary and uh, since it is government, it is, it is full salary and pensionable. In short, all I'm saying is that do not be quick to condemn something or praise something without getting to see the full picture. We might be condemning ourselves in return. We might not be able to exercise our right to vote because we're in diaspora, but that doesn't mean that we do not get to follow up with the various occurrences in our country. Okay, thanks for watching. Like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more future videos. And uh, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at and Twitter at Himscope KE. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Kimumulo. I've been your host, Kimumulo. Hold on.